In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the background details from your pictures and images. Now, this is no special Photoshop skills whatsoever. I'm going to show you a website that can help you do it really easy in less than five to six seconds. So you want to pay attention until this entire video. My name is Adam Shelton and welcome to the video today. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the background details without using Photoshop in quick, easy, simple steps. So let's go ahead and dive into the content. And if you haven't yet, like, comment and subscribe to the channel as well. So let's go ahead and dive into the content. Right now, as you see, I'm at remove.bg website. That is remove.bg. B as in boy and G as in Greg. And right below this video, I do have the website where you can go ahead and take advantage of this unbelievable opportunity to remove that background image detail from your pictures on your computer. So right now, I'm at the website right now, remove.bg. And the first thing you can go ahead and do is just upload image. But if you want to go ahead and know more information about remove.image or remove.bg, you can click on how to use tools and API and pricing. So you can check that out, you know, in the beginning. But I'm going to go right into the tutorial of how to just remove the background image. So right here, you click on upload image. And the first thing they want you to do, you can upload image. Let me go back upload image or you can drop your file so you can drop your file of your pictures of your images right there the next thing you want to do, go ahead and do you can actually click on upload and find the picture you want to go ahead and use so if i want to use this picture here it's going to load up and this is the original and that's the remove background check that out the original picture that i original had and the remove background image right there so you can actually go back and forth what you want to go ahead and use the next thing you want to go ahead and do you can edit the actually image so you can click on edit and it's going to give you the information right there so you can actually use different backgrounds you can use these backgrounds if you want to or you can go down and use the images background that remove.bg already has for you. And they have several. Look at all these different ones. You can use this one here. You can actually go in like, this is a city view. Look like New York. You can actually go more to the, the lake, mountain view. You can use all these type of images. So if you like see something you want to use, go ahead and use it for your marketing purposes or your branding purposes or anything like that. So you can use these things right now this is a simple one right there it has no background or you can use something like if you want a green background now here's a tip you can go ahead and do let's say you go went ahead you've selected a few but you want to go back to the original one that you were already working with you can go right here that says undo click on the undo you can go all the way back to the original one so look at that undo i use undo a lot though because sometimes i might mess up or i want to go back to the previous one i just go back to undo so you can do that the next thing you want to you would want to know you can go to colors so if you want to just do a simple color in the background you can go ahead and do that so if i want a, a purple background from one of a green background you know what you can use these images and you can go click on download and save it on your computer if you want to use any of these backgrounds. Let me go back to undo. So, very simple to use, very, very easy. So you can use the photo aspect of this, a remove.bg, or you can use the color aspect of this, of this actually program. So, the next thing I want to show you, and this is a tool that I use a lot as well, and that's the erase slash restore option. So when you click on that, it's going to give you the erase and restore tab. Now let's look at the erase first. We're going to click on erase and we're going to adjust our brush size. So look at this. If I want to adjust my brush size, it's going to go bigger. Look at that. Look how big the brush size get. Look how small it gets. 
So let's say we want to use this side of brush size, brush size. <laughs> the next thing you want to go ahead and do is you start erasing. Look at that. I can actually erase. Look at that. That's what I erase. And then, uh, let me see here. Look at this. And it goes bigger. So I can go bigger. Look at, look at that. So this is actually re re erase. Now, if I want to restore it, I'll just click on the restore tab, which is right there. And click on restore. And restore is going to, let me go back. So I'm gonna go back here, click on restore. So I'm gonna erase. Say I'm gonna erase this. And then I wanna restore. I wanna restore basically what I just I just erased. I can just do this. Look, at, look, it actually restore everything. But then I can go back, erase. I can erase some of this here. See how I erased that? So I can erase some of the stuff, the original, original stuff. Look at that. Voila. Check that out. So you can erase, restore, and you can keep playing, playing back and forth which one will work for you. You also can zoom in a little bit that I use a little bit. So if you're trying to erase something that's really small, so let's say I was trying to erase part of my ear, I can actually do that and check it out and actually erase it. Or, you know, I go back and restore. I can restore my ear back, restore and restore my ear back. Now this originally has some of the white stuff. So I can say, oh, I can just, I'll just erase it. So actually that white stuff, some of the blue stuff, you can do that or I can just go to undo either way. And then you can zoom back out, check that out. Go right back to where it was to 100%. So that's really easy. You can actually erase, you can restore, you can zoom in and zoom out to restore or to erase. If you wanna get really, really close and personal into your editing, it's really, really cool. And you can also use the undo and the redo right here as well if you wanna go ahead and do that. So then when you're done editing your images, if you need to e edit your images, you click on download right here and then download image and your image is going to be right down here. It's going to download on your computer. You just click on it, and then it shows up right there. Look how beautiful that is. There's no bad details around here. It's a picture that you can use for other type of picture images that you may use for social media, or if you want to use branding purposes or anything like that, I can use this picture for any type of marketing if I need to, or I can just want, maybe I had a background that I just wanted to remove that I want to use for something else. So you can actually do that and it's really good, simple, easy steps of this training tutorial all for you, absolutely. So go ahead and follow these steps. And the last thing I want you to go ahead and do, you can go right click it, you can save. Now I can save this on my computer and I can rename it to whatever I need to. So the next thing you want to do is make sure you save it on your computer and that way you'll go ahead and use it. So I can save as, and I can rename it. I can say remove, add on my name, number one or something like that. And it's already saved on my computer right in. Saving a copy. So that's it right there. Let me go back. I'm gonna go back and close this, close this right there. So look at, check this out. Now these are the original ones I did before. I did this one earlier. And if I go back to the original one and then remove, I can really, really play around with this a lot. I can download high resolution, I can download the previous images, and I also can rate this result. So I can give, you know, remove.bg a good thumbs up because this is a really quick and easy tool that you can use to save a lot of your time and it saves a lot of money if you, you know, you're paying all a bunch of money for Photoshop, you don't need any Photoshop skills or Photoshop budget, then use remove.bg. And I have it right below this video. I have the link for you can go ahead and start removing those background details. So click on the description box there. And also, I also have things there about growing your influence on social media, how to get a hundred or even a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and how to make money online. 
all that information is right below this video. Check it out. It's all for you, but you can grow your influence and grow your brand today. So my name is Adam Shelton. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you on the next video.